Hey, what's going on everybody? Jerry with 3DHP and Rip Rapper over on Amazon just contacted me and they wanted to know if I would like to try out their filament or the resin. And it's like, sure, I resin print constantly and I want to try out, they had four or five different colors. I want to try out their gray and their wax red. So I'm going to do two videos here and we'll start out with the first video. Um, this one appears to be a skin color. I don't know what's up with that, but I asked for a wax red and a gray. Another one says gray. So let's go ahead and open up this one here and see what we got. And I'm going to be printing today on my Anticubic Photon Mono X. It is a rock solid mid-sized resin printer. I love it. Let's see what do we got here. Okay, we got some gloves. It came with gloves. That's nice. Oh wow. Candy apple red bottle. That's real pretty. Beyond Imagination through Innovation. Rep Wrapper 201. 3D printing UV sensitive resin. Engineer and produced in China. So let's give it a good shake. And let's see what we got. Take off the safety seal here. And I'm going to be resin lapsing this. I'll be time lapsing it with my resin lapse cord that I got from Andrew Sink and Uncle Jesse. There'll be a link down below in the description where you can buy that app to hook up on your Canon DSLR and get a hold of that little ring in there. It's been difficult. Oh, okay, the whole plug pulls out. And it does not appear to be wax red. It does appear to be a skin color. I guess somebody made a mistake on what they sent me. So, well, let's get to pouring and we'll print with what we got. That's definitely a skin color. I'll take it up to the max fill line. Put the plug back in little drip there on the side and grab a blue shop towel and wipe that up and whenever I do any cleanup with resin I always use my favorite blue shop towels and I use a uh, spray away glass cleaner here spray away glass cleaner and blue shop towels to the rescue that cat put back on and let me move out of the way here and we'll get the print going Alrighty, let's see if I can squeeze in here, hit print, let's see what we got there. And my wife wanted a uh, witch on a broom, so we're going to print that first. And I'll show you that file here in a minute on my computer. And there's a picture of the witch right there on a broom. Go ahead and start. There it goes. And I've got my resin lapse cable hooked up to my DSLR. You can see the cable right here. It has a UV light source in the back of the printer. There's a small area where I put the cable in. And every time it does a layer, the UV light comes on. It clicks the camera and takes a picture. And once I'm done, I take all those pictures, which is like three or 400 pictures, put them in DaVinci Resolve. It automatically compiles them, and you can basically run the video. And then I just right click on them, I speed up the speed, that way you can actually see it moving up and out of the that. You control the speed of it. Now, camera go over there and you heard it click just in, it took its first picture. So, and I've got my air purifier right down there on the floor, my Winix air purifier. Kind of helps with odors a little bit. But uh, let's go check out what we're printing on the computer. Let's check out their website and uh, we'll keep get this party started. And here is Rep Rapper's website at reprappertech.com. And looks like they have printers. They've got different types of filament. They've got their resin, of course, 3D pens, many different things here. And uh, let's kind of go through it here. 
can click through here and see what we got. Pretty filament. And then moving on, here they are over on uh, Facebook, their Facebook group for Rep Rapper. Now there'll be links in the description below where you can find all three of these sites at. Lots of information here, ways to contact them, post your prints, post your resin prints, lots of information. I love Facebook groups for contacting companies and posting things. And here they are over on Amazon here in the USA. And uh, it appears that they have the, they've got their gray, what they call red wax, which I think they relabeled it. They said they're sending me red wax, but I believe that's their flesh tone, their uh, skin color. Translucent black. And of course, like most resins, it's designed for all printers. Lots of information here and precautions tells all about it. So... There's their 500 gram bottle and their 1,000 gram. And I've got two of the larger bottles I'm currently testing. Uh, this video will be about the skin color, and then I'll move on to the gray for the next video. But let's go back and uh, see how our prints are doing. Okay, which model just got done? Let's put on their gloves and give them a try. That's nice that they include these for people that may have ran out or don't realize that they have to have gloves with resin. It's nice, these are in there as a nice reminder. Because I know I've ran out before and had it run out and buy some. Let's see if they fit. We've got medium sized hands. Yeah, yeah they're kind of tight, they fit. So, I usually go to Harbor Freight and buy a big box of them. These to be real, real reasonable, but you know, the prices have went way up now, as you know, no one realized. Good, see what we got here. Yeah, I don't see any problems with it. Came out real good. I'll take it off the build plate here. Okay, stuck real well the build plate. Go ahead and, since I've got the camera free, I'll go ahead and pull off the supports now. Always wear safety glasses too, you never know when something will pop off and hit your eye and you don't want to get resin in your eye or piece of a support. So wear your PP and E personal protective equipment. Safety glasses, gloves. I'm sure loving this uh, anti-cubic photon mono X. My go-to mid-size resin printer. So I'll put up my mean green and my ultrasonic cleaner, clean it really good since I hauled out the part, I'll get all the excess resin out of it. And then once that's done, then I'll go ahead and put my washing through plus station from Anticubic and uh, with IPA. 
and clean it up real good in IPA after that. So I kind of do a pre-clean with the uh, ultrasonic. Every few minutes it slows down and changes directions. Unless you have too much parts. If you got too much in there, it's too bulky, then it's hard to see the swirling action. But that's a fairly small part, so it's working good. Alright, the Loki Gator got done. Let's check it out. I scaled it up, I don't remember, it's like five or six hundred percent. The thingy verse file is very small. Yeah, it looks good. Not seeing any issues at the moment. Let's uh, throw up my ultrasonic cleaner. We'll pre-clean it and then throw it in the wash and cure plus and uh, with IPA and clean it up really good. So, pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the color, it looks good. Looks like our honey badger got done. Take a look at it. There's a YouTube channel called uh, Honey Badger Print and Paint. A couple guys over in the UK, they got a really cool uh, YouTube channel. They do tons and tons of models. Awesome painting, reviews. And uh, this is their mascot. I printed this at 25% in resin. Looks like it came out good. Go ahead and get that off the build plate and get it cleaned up. And she was just a little bit too big for my station. Spinning around, so I've got my UV light here, carrying her. There's not, it's not real sunny out, so I'll do her this way. I'll just turn her side to side for seven, eight minutes. Alrighty, we got them all cured and they're done. There we've got the witch. She came out really nice, not a great detail. And we've got the Loki Gator, Alligator. Very nice, very nice. Now I'm over to the Honey Badger. Their mascot. Great detail. Came out excellent. And uh, we'll, get go, we'll get started on the next color that we have here. The gray from Rep Wrapper. And we'll start printing some goodies to make my next video. So, uh, you know, stick around here to the end. I'll have some more pictures of all these things. And, you know, there will be links down below in the description where you can find anything that I've talked about during this video. Have a great day, everybody, and happy resin printing.